Welcome to DowerChin.com. All right, this is a, a second video comparing lag uh, for, on the various tab different tablets I own. Uh, so one of my uh, uh, commenters, uh, Rival X Storm, decided to say that well, pointer hovering uh, lag is no comparison to actual drawing lag, and he's right. So we're going to take a look at my various tablets again, and we're going to actually do some drawing and um, just to see how well the cursor tracks. So we'll get, let's get started. Okay, first up is my old Asus EP121 Slate. And uh, from you, if you saw my, my previous video before, I talked about the uh, pointer hover, uh, pointer lag when you hover. Um, and uh, obviously that, that doesn't really count for really what it's gonna be like. So we'll take a look. So in this example here, I have a large paintbrush. All right, I'll set the opacity very light, say I wanna do a background image. So I'll, I'll just kind of go over and start going over the background like so all right so let's see so then i'll choose a pen make it black and we'll start we'll start drawing so from here so this seems to track for, just fine for drawing uh of course i'm not doing a very good job of that but just you know, just doodling here um make a brand new image here let's not save this so if i'm going to draw So I'm kind of doodling over here. Seems to track just fine. And so once again, even though maybe hover a pointer lag maybe a little bit there, um, drawing wise, still a very good experience uh, with the, even with this old tablet. Uh, so let's see what else we can do. Uh, let's just take the airbrush for example. Um, where's the airbrush? Airbrush tool. Make a make large, and we'll just go with the black again. I could take, uh, say, a paintbrush again, choose a lighter color, maybe how about, how about a little bit of color there, a little reddish, make the brush a little less big. Actually, that's not a good tool to use for that. Is it a pen? Nope. Oh, pencil. Pencil is always a good one. So, so all right, so that, so that's the EP121. Let's move on to some other ones and see how the, they stack okay, up. Okay, so we're going to move on to the Samsung Galaxy Note Pro 12.2. I'm um, running Sketchbook Pro and I'm using the default uh, built-in digitizer. And once again, it is a Wacom digitizer. Uh, so let's see, i got a blank document over here. I'm going to use the airbrush and I'm going to basically make a large brush. So say if you once again work on a background, you might want to see how well it tracks here. All right, well, let's, let's pick a different tool. Let's go with, uh, say, a um, pencil tool. Uh, we'll choose a different color. We'll just go with white, for example. So we'll just go on top of this. So, you know, once I did, I talked about about pointer lag when you when you when you kind of floating around. Uh, but you know, when it comes to drawing performance, it seems just fine if I'm going fast like this. Oops, a little button there. It takes a bit of getting used to if you're going to do like little thatching work because sometimes it doesn't, it's, it might, might have a hard time keeping up with you on that small scale there, but as you can see, I'm going to do some shapes here if I don't catch the little button on the side there. So drawing wise, seems like it works just fine, keeps up quite nicely. If I pick a different color now, let's go with red. So if I'm working real fast, seems like it seems to keep up quite nicely. So there you have it. So that's a look at the drawings, drawing 
um, with the Samsung Galaxy Note Pro and how uh, the stylus keeps up with you when you uh, work with it. So we'll move on to the next one. Now we move on to my good old Surface Pro 1 uh, with its uh, with the, the, the stylus that came with it. Uh, so we'll take a look once again running sketchbook pro uh, we'll take a look at what, what this can do once again here you know, here's the, the point of the lag i was showing you before kind of flows around uh, so we'll take a look at oops let me mute that oops nope done that's uh the wrong option there you you don't save all right so we'll get so once again we'll use the uh say we'll use the airbrush tool make a very large size brush and we'll kind of down the down the opacity a little bit so we can get some some background work going maybe so that's not dark enough let's see here we go let's, let's drop the darkness on that a lot more there we go so if you're kind of doing like a little radiant background or something like that you want to get a little moody drawing in there maybe and then maybe the, what we'll do is uh then we'll just pick a the pencil tool and we'll pick a color like what's oh, the red over here like this and so we'll start drawing from my experience honestly the 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 samsungs are nice and all but um they sort of pale in comparison to to drawing on on a, a walk on a surface pro one uh it's just a lot smoother experience and maybe because of the software too uh, you know the the full feature software and the more powerful processor might make a difference all right so i'll pick a different color here Go with blue, let's pick a marker, make the brush a little larger here, see how well it tracks. I mean, there is a, if there is a little bit of lag, I guess when you're actually really doing real work, I don't really think it's going to be that, as noticeable. Uh, once again, though, it is something that you may have to get used to if you're used to actual being on physical media uh once again uh programs that are more heavy in in uh real media type stuff like maybe art rage might have a little bit of problems if you go quicker well I'll take a look and see if i if i could run that in a little bit and try that out but um as you can see so the surface pro one does a fine job when it comes to drawing uh this may be two years old now but for this kind of task it handles it just this fine okay so now we move on to my surface pro three now, out of all the ones I've looked at so far, this is uh, the one that does not use uh, a Wacom tablet. This is an Intrig uh, stylus. Uh, so let's take a look and uh, what, what, how this performs. So once again, here's an example of the pointer lag that you can see, uh, very slight. But let's uh, we'll just go and choose the same tools. So make a airbrush, sizable. Oh, looks like it had a little, little little blip there. Oops. Ah, hold on. Sorry, guys. We'll just get rid of you that. Uh, need this drawing here. We'll save that. Let's try this again. Last time, I'll, also I won't. I won't hover over it. One thing you know, that I have to say about the the, Note, the the Surface Pro three when it comes to drawing is because um the, so the the software drivers that come with the intrigue don't give you a lot of um custom customization so you can't really right now say i want a harder press or lighter press uh, for drawing programs it, it become a bit of a disadvantage sometimes because if you have a lighter touch i normally have a lighter touch so i gotta press down really harder if i want to get a harder touch so all right so we'll take a look at uh, some other tools we'll go back to the pencil tool we'll choose uh Let's see this red color there. We'll take a look at how this is like.
So as you can see, I, I gotta press, I gotta press a bit harder to get that uh, the, uh, darker color. But you know, it's, it's all doable. So let's choose a different color here. Go to green. Let's use a marker. See how well it tracks me here. I'm going to go with a, with a blue color this time, see how that works. So, oh, I inadvertently changed the opacity, but that works. So, as you can see, that's an example of drawing on here. And it's just as good. Uh, obviously, the one thing to consider is that uh, the tip, you got to push harder on the tip. Uh, and the tip is not replaceable on this pen. So... Um, but it, it kind of remains to be seen how much um, how much you can do with this thing before having to try to replace the pen. So something to consider there. But there there is the Surface Pro Three, and now we're going to move on to the last device. Okay, so lastly here, we're taking a look at my 17-inch MacBook Pro with my Wacom and Two OS Three. Uh, this time, instead of looking at pointer la a lag, we're going to actually look at just drawing with it, uh, just to get a feel for it. Now, some folks are familiar with these tools, so it may not be such much, much of a surprise. Those that are not, we'll take a look. So once again, choose a large, if you can see this, I choose a large uh, brush over here, and choose the airbrush tool, uh, and we'll start just doing some stuff here. Uh, change the uh, change the uh, opacity of this thing here. Where is it? There it is. Oh, oh, there. there it is. So now we'll just use a uh, pencil tool this time. Once again, we'll choose a different color here. Go red, and we'll just see how this works. It's been a while since I drew the, drew on one of these. Um, in all honesty, there really is no comparison. Uh, this is so much more sensitive and so much more um, precise. Uh, there's so many more levels of pressure too. So that's just important to be said is that uh, at the Intuos will have far more levels of sensitivity as well as some programs will support tilt uh, of your stylus. So, you know, uh, it's going to be a very different drawing experience. Now, that being said, it'd be very interesting to see what the, what the uh, Cintiq uh, hybrid or the Cintiq uh, portable Cintiq is, is like. Um, so I'll have to see if I get my hands on one to try it out. But as you can see there, this is, um, you know, this is a much very, very smooth experience when it comes to drawing. You know, the, the, it's hard to, it's really hard to really compare using one of these versus going to a, a tablet. So it kind of depends on, on, on the seriousness of, of, of how you want to draw, whether you want to, uh, if it's okay to sacrifice uh, portability for this kind of level of accuracy and level of pressure sensitivity that you get with an actual dedicated tablet. Uh, so something to consider when you when you're looking, and uh, you know once again it, it kind of depends on on the level of artwork you want to do, or if you're just a note taker, maybe you don't care about this level of of accuracy when you want to when when you're drawing things. But it's a very different experience using a dedicated tablet like this. So, sort of a look at it. Uh, I hope this was informative, maybe a little bit more uh, informative than my hover pointer uh, um, comparison. Uh, if you have any other questions or suggestions or things you want to see that I did not go over, you know, please uh, send, you know, subscribe or send me a note or comment. I'll do my best to answer those questions. Thanks for watching.